Ah, 69. The magical number. Oh, my focus needs more focus. Wow, that's great, Toast. You're pretty good. Glad you're supposed to teach me what it is to be a real trainer. Or what... Yeah, whatever you just said, but yeah. I think I know my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, it's just like, you got that Pokemon, but it's like, already likes you and stuff. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon. Easily. Well, it's time to head back now to the lab. What the heck? I just spent all this time walking over here trying to catch you and just go and freaking ditch me. What the heck? I ain't gonna give you such a pinch. I wonder if I can buy Pokeballs yet. Can I now? Can you buy a shaman to Pokeballs? Hell no. Nah. Alright, uh, whatever. I'll buy you like a potion. Woot! Okay. Let me guess. I probably have to sit there and wait for somebody to teach me how to capture a Pokemon, which is like, it's not hard. But I guess if you're like someone who's just started out with the Pokemon series, then it would be rather difficult. And again, I guess you do have those few people out there, so can't expect everybody to be like, Dude, I already know how to f do a Pokemon. I played the past games. Ah, uh, back in the good old days when Pokemon centers were simple. Nowadays, in your fancy black and white twos, you got, No, I don't want to heal my Pokemon again. Ah. Yeah, in a new black and white two, you got frickin' the Pokemart and the PC or Pokemon Center in the same area. Toast, over here! Let's hurry home! Oh, thanks, yeah. God forbid we walk home together. No, I'll just have you frickin' run on ahead. But you have some, like, frickin' ridiculously strong running legs. No, I'm not even gonna go home. I'm gonna go kill a Pokemon real quick. Hold on. It's funny, too, because actually, uh... That's one of the things I noticed in the manga is I actually saw freaking I think Green actually literally slice an arm... Arbok in half and everything. I was just like, the fuck, dude, you just killed a Pokemon. I thought you just, like, beat the crap out of them when they faint. But then, of course, if your party dies of Pokemon, then you faint. Then someone has to drag you to a Pokemon Center and have you hit your Pokemon. Then you magically gain consciousness, consciousness back. Scratch! Sweet. So yeah, in this game, I don't know, like in the last, um, what was it, in Pokemon Red, the original one, I kind of just did most of my training, like, as I was doing the walkthrough, but this one, just to save a bit of time and possibly not bore you guys and everything, why am I freaking in a room? Oh, yeah, lay in your bed. Oh, May. Oh, May. Mm. Let's go see the professor. But yeah, anyway, anyways, but yeah, freaking, um, I'm pretty much gonna try to do some sort of training, like, off-screen. Just kind of, like, not really go any further than basically where I left off, but basically just, uh, kind of raise up the levels a bit so I don't have to sit there and do a bunch of training while you got, while I'm freaking recording and everything. And save, like I said, I might save a bit of time and make things a little bit more entertaining. Oh, hi, Toast. I heard you beat me. I am so going to call the cops, your mom's going to give you such a spank for beating my daughter. Ha, huh, kidding, in a Pokemon battle. Wait, May has an extensive history as a trainer already. So wait, she has an extensive history, yet she's carrying around a level 5 Pokemon, and that's her only Pokemon. And I still managed to beat her, and I just barely became a trainer. Huh, not a very good trainer, then. Unless she just keeps all her high, her strong Pokemon and just doesn't bother using them. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. Cute kid just peeking in and records his dad in the Pokedex. Why May looks for me? May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Toast, you totally got a Pokedex too. That's great. Just like me, we should totally exchange numbers on our Pokedexes so we can text each other. I got something for you too. Oh yes, she gave me my balls back. I am a man now. I'm a man with my Pokeballs. 
Pokeball Pocket. It's fun if you can get a lot of type of Pokemon. I'm gonna look all over the place because I want different type of Pokemon. And if you find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Wait, any Pokemon. Oh, if she finds a cat, she said like, oh, if you find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. I was like, what do you mean you'll catch them? She's like, never mind. Let's see. And there's an exit town. Shit, it's my mom. Let's just go around the my way. She's gonna try to fucking give me running shoes and shit and stop me and say, oh dear, it's you're growing up. Ah, damn it, she caught me. Wait, toast! Taste, taste! Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? No, mom, I'm just wandering in the tall grass where wild Pokemon live, just so I can see if I can get hurt or not. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from Professor Birch? How nice! You're your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Venture, take these running shoes. Pull the zip up. They'll put a zip in your step. Oh, gee, Mom. Switch shoes with running shoes. Those shoes came with instructions. Press B while wearing the shoes and you'll run extra fast. Of course, when you think about it, if his mom was actually saying this, he's probably going, Mom, what the hell do you mean, press B? Is there like a B button on the shoes? What's going on? Slip on these running shoes and race into the great outdoors. Dot, dot, dot. This is totally awkward. Just think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father would be so overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens to you, your father will kill me. Go on, get them, honey. Hee <laughs> hee. See, is my Pokemon actually decently healed? Yep. Cool. Actually, just for a hell of it, let's see what my nature is on this. I got a quirky nature. Cool. Probably. I'm not gonna look it up now, but I'm sure that's not that great of a one. Whatever. Okay. Oh, sorry. How many Pokeballs did they actually give me? Usually it's about five. Yeah, cool. Screw it. Might as well actually go ahead and catch some Pokemon. Yay! I predict Zigzagoon. Ah, damn it. Fucking Warren Pole, you're supposed to be a Zigzagoon. Go switch out. Go torch it. So you might be able to get away with one more scratch. Torchic speed fill! Curses, whatever will I do? Fuck, killed it. Didn't want to kill it. Okay, so apparently I can only freaking get like one scratching on it. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, another wormhole. Sweet! He came back for more! This time is trying not killing it. There we go, that should be good enough. So I'm not even sure if the whole freaking rapidly pressing A button in this one works. Seriously? Because I know if I freaking hit you one more time with the Pokeball, I mean, with, with any sort of attack, you're gonna die. Fuck, let's try it one more. That's funny, even till this day in Black and White 2, I still rapidly press the A button just to try to catch a Pokemon better. Yes! I caught a Wurmple! I am such a Pokemon Master! The Worm-type Pokemon. It sticks to trees and branches and eats leaves. It's threat it spits out of its mouth, which becomes gooey when it touches air. Ew. No. Alright. Let's see. What nature is my Wurmple? Be careful, nature. Not sure. I don't know. I usually only go for the natures with the. Uh, was it strong? Uh, what was it? Strong special attack, so I don't know. Others may go for speed, depending on the type of Pokemon it is, but. You're good, it's Puchietta! Gonna catch this bastard. Look at it, he always looks so freaking grumpy. Puchiona, the grumpy Pokemon. It spends its days plotting about how it hates everything. Maybe you not die? Please not die. Yeah, you not die. Now we catch you with Pokeballs.